is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. Kind of quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go, seven, we go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your soul, and you respect your mind. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 325, NASDAQ off 51, S&P's off 19 and a half, gold contract up a buck 20, trade at 19.01 an ounce. You get silver down t up up 21 cents, 24 dollars 20 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 28, 92 dollars 35 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading down seven ticks, 126.15. The 30 year off two ticks at 152.31. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down 66 ticks, trying 96.01. The euro right now is at a price point of 113. The yen is at 115. The British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's go take a look at them. So we get the spy out here. We get high volatility. High volatility is going to keep being here, folks. Bottom line, <coughs> excuse me, folks. The spy get down to 425.86. The high volume low is 420.76. This is going to get tested. We're not tested yet. It's going to get tested. The, if we take a look at the futures, what you're going to see out here, we bring the futures up. You're down 18 right now, which is nothing compared to what we were down. We went down all the way to 42.50. Right now, you're 75 points ahead of that. Bottom line, you know, haven't hit that low, man. That low is at 42.12. Now, the NQs are a different ballgame. What the NQs did do is that overnight, the NQs tested their low. The low that we're talking about inside the NQs is 13706. Well, we went to 13580. And this is where this gets wild. So if we take a look, let's just put this up. I'll get to the, the, the volume characteristics because it's lighter volume. There's no doubt about that. What you have is this. That right now, you, you get 990,000 contracts versus 1.3. That being said, I suspect that we're not done at these levels. And the, the, and the reason would be, that, let me bring up the Qs for a second, because the Qs missed the low, number one, only by 15 cents or something, but that's, that's important when the test isn't done. 334.15. We hit 334.35. So the bottom line, you missed it by 20 cents. But that's not the kicker. What I've found is the kicker is this. I, I've only seen these lows get tested either once or twice before like this in, in the last 20, 25 years, whatever it is, meaning that the future tested it overnight, the market didn't test it, and bottom line is I actually forgot, well, okay, does it go back and test it or not? And I, the bottom line is that I really, I do forget, okay? That being said, what I don't forget is that you just don't have one industry test the low. So this S&P is gonna test that low. So you know, yeah, you can play bounces, but be really careful because what's happening is that my take is that we're going to go right 
into and after that area again. The real question is going to be, do you get a good bounce going first? And I suspect that we're actually not. I suspect what's going to happen here is that you're going to get a sideways move and you're actually going to build cars. And if that's what we get, if we start going sideways, folks, for three or four days, be really careful because that's building cars to go after a B point and it would be a very large ABC structure on the way down. The gold, gold contract out here, we take a look at gold. Gold's in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Bottom line, that being said, I expect what gold's going to do is turn into a complex ABC. And the reason I think this is that what gold did is did 100% move of a move. Once it did the 1882, that's 100% move of a move. It did break the B point, broke it with volume. It's a nice ABC up to 1846. We're at 19, we hit 1918 today, or at 1900. Um, we'll see where it shakes out. That, that's the real bottom line. We take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market, they both want lower price, higher yield. Yeah, the, the note and bond market just can't get anything going. The 10 year today got up to the uh, 126.12, gave it up in price, right? I, I mean, sorry, 127.09, gave it up in price. Um, let me look at this for a second. I think that says four. Okay, that's really interesting, man. So it means we'll be back up there. This is pretty cool, actually. Actually, no, we didn't take a swing point up. So watch this. You see that, that volume in there? It's 4.1 million contracts. That is a monster amount of, of volume. But what have, should have happened is that it should have made it to the swing point. It didn't. And when you don't do that, <laughs> bottom line, you're going to be right back downtown. So you get a lot of moving pieces out here, and that's without even talking about the Ukraine, okay? So if you really want to get your head wrapped around um, Putin, right, what you want to do, folks, is Google this. You're going to Google um, Putin. What was it? Okay. Google Putin July 13th, 2021. Historical unity. You read that, and... That'll tell you everything you need to know about where Putin is, where he wants to be, depending on how long you've been listening to me here. I, I couldn't stand this guy forever. Bottom line, he's a killer. But if you read that, you're really going to understand the history behind the Ukraine. Um, and it's a pretty cool history. And what it's, uh, the end result at the bottom, you can make your own decision on the end result. Read it and you'll really get a nice education as to history, as to where he's going. And one of the biggest parts inside of that, read and don't about the cream air part, okay? Because he already took over cream air. And when you actually look at it, you'll understand why he did. And you'll also understand why he's going to take over the rest of the Ukraine. I, it might not happen right now, but within four or five more years, you know, Ukraine is going to be part of Russia again. It, when you read it, you're going to see why. Dow Industrials right now, down 328. Nasdaq's off 44, S&P's are off 19. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 336. You get the NASDAQ off 45. S&Ps are off 18 and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the opening call. You just hit subscribe. The opening call, you can get the opening call for one month for $149. Six months for $695, which is a savings of 22%. One year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Uh, bottom line, great newsletter. Now, when you get the opening call, folks, you're going to get about 10 to 11 archives so you really understand how to ride the wave and ride this market, because this is a trader's market. That's the bottom line. We're gonna, I don't think this, I think this volatility is going to continue. Um, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very well. Thank you. It, and interesting market. You were talking about that pattern that retests the bottom on the left side. Yes. So I thought I'd bring up a couple of things I've been speaking to awesome. a little, for a little while about this pattern that I call the dreaded H because if that left side, if you come down with a straight line, you make the arch formation, how you come back to test that left side low, I call it the dreaded H because it looks like an H, yes. is absolutely imperative to monitor. So what we're looking at, what I said to subscribers to my opening call this morning, is that if the Dow holds under 33,800 for more than about 40 minutes today, You've got to be very careful. And one of the reasons is, I've been talking about this for a while, here's the sharp move down from the high 36,952 all-time high on the 5th of January. It comes down to 35,639, and you can see there's a little H right there where it fails within three bars, and then it comes down, takes out the support, whoosh, it goes down to 33,150 on the 24th of January. But then what happens is it gets a really sharp rally and it goes all the way to 35,824. And then it starts that arch formation. And we've been monitoring this very closely because there was a moment where it could have made what I call the lowercase h goes to an M shaped pad, lowercase m. So it did a little bounce and then it fails. So I said if it closes under the 200 period moving average, you've got to be very careful. And uh, you can see what happened. Today we went down from the 33,150 low of the 24th of January. Today we went down to 33,364. So that's really close, but it isn't there. But now have a look at this. You've got the Dow with that H pattern. You've got the S&P. 
with the H pattern, 4222 was uh, 0.62 was low on the 24th. Has a really good rally to the 45.95 area. Turns around, makes that arch formation, comes down, and today the low was, I think it was uh, f uh, 4267. So it is still above it. But you can see the MACD's weak, the stochastic weak, on balance volumes weak, relative strength, uh, all, all these things that I look at. And the 200 period moving average is now at 4409. That's a strong resistance. So I, and if you look at the weekly chart, there's another H pattern right here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let me just get a drink of. Now, if you look at the QQQ, this is unbelievable. 334.15 was, this is the NDX 100 QQQ trust, Investor Trust. Yes. Series. So 334.15 three, was a low on the 24th. It rallies, not like the others, it rallies quite well. It goes to 370.10, turns around, makes that arch formation. And where's the low today? 334.35, 3, 20 cents higher. So each one of these, and if you go to the IWM, I've been saying that the actual daily chart of the IWM is a lot better than the others, but the weekly and monthly charts are not good at all. So I wanted to show you, look, look at this example that I've got. I, I was yeah, the IWM is intriguing, isn't it, Basil? Because, you know, it's, it's it, what has happened, folks, that was the first one down, uh, but it's really right. not getting the selling, which is pretty cool. And it's not, yeah. so I'm, I'm looking at, so we've been raising cash, we've raised one of the highest cash positions we've had in a long time. And I think what I've been saying is that we don't have to be in a rush to buy, but there are going to be some fantastic um, stocks that are just really good stocks that have, have been decimated because of the selling pressure in the group. Sure. And that's what we're trying to isolate. So look at this. The S&P, the 10-minute E-mini, went to 4260 at about 3 o'clock uh, this morning. It had this huge rally. Remember the fourth highest peak, peak D, is where we always get a little bit careful. So it goes to a peak D at about 6 o'clock, and it runs up to the 43, I call it the 43, I'll give you the exact price. It goes to 43.50. Uh, and then it pulls back and goes sideways. And you can see this 200-period exponential moving average was resistance, and it broke out, and then it became support. Broke under it and went into it, just two higher peaks to 4385.75, and then came down, making like this big arch formation, like I was talking about the H. This is just a simple technique of looking at it as an arch. And where did it go to? It went to 4261. Point, I think it was uh, 50. Yeah, four, uh, point 50. Okay. Within a point and a half of that left side low. And look at this big, I call it a counter trend rally. And where did the counter trend rally stop? At the 200 period moving average. So I'm using the same principle that I've used for years in this pattern that I call the H pattern or the arch formation. And I'm, I, I'm with you. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, under all the other things that we look at, the VIX index, the, the uh, hysteria in the market based on uh, just regular folks saying, I've had enough, I've just got to get out. I don't think we're quite there. We're real close, but I don't think I we're agree. quite there yet. Yeah, that's and that says to me 33,150 on the Dow, but I'm going to make it even more intriguing because I don't think that the VIX index is just going to turn around from here. Uh, it made a double top today at 3204. Uh, that was the high of about uh, six sessions ago. I suspect that before all this is done, and if we're going to get at least a decent counter trend rally that says we've got a little bit of time and some price on our hands before we come back to do even more testing, I think that volatility index has to scream into the 34 area, maybe even a, a little higher. Um, on this particular move now, because the Dow is so close to that left side low, um, maybe this is the one where the VIX doesn't spiral all that high, but I think when we finally make a really good blow, I think those are the things that I'd be looking for. I want to see the VIX really scream and give a, a, a wonderful sell signal on the volatility index so that prices can move higher. But if you're looking at some of these stocks that have just been decimated, to, I mean, look, I, I haven't looked at it today, but Adobe, this is a, just an outstanding company, and it goes from the 700 level to 441. I mean, the, the, this is quite, even Salesforce, which is a leader in, in the cloud, 
uh, Salesforce goes from 311 in November, trading right now at 196. So there is something going on here that it's really telling us that money has come out of the, uh, the tech sector and maybe coming a little bit into, into value. But more importantly, I, I think that some of these stocks will at least, even, you know, even if, let's just take uh, Salesforce, if it goes from 196 to last Monday's high at about 210, that's already a pretty decent percentage gain. So I think we're ready for some kind of, or getting ready for some kind of a bounce, but it'll be a bounce at first. And listen, folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're gonna see the opening call right and featured content. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Too. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find a newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials down 379. You get the NASDAQ uh, off a 40. S&Ps off 25. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You have... Uh, let's see. Advanced Micro is up three bucks. That's positive. Uh, it's very hard to find a positive stock out there. Roku is up twelve dollars, but that got slammed on Friday. You get DraftKings up a buck forty. That also got slammed on Friday. Um, Facebook's down two two eighty. Um, that's that wants lower price. We go take a look at. Uh, let's go take a look at Amazon because Amazon wants to fill this gap. Now Amazon's really strong. Um, bottom line is that you're, you're down thirty five bucks. The gap fill is uh, 28.84. We've made 29.69. So if you're looking for something, you know, getting your firepower going, um, I'd keep your eye on Amazon because I suspect number one, you'll get this 
gap filled and it will be filled on lighter volume. Amazon's been coming down and coming down on lighter volume. Home Depot, let's go to Home Depot. So Home Depot came out this morning, bottom line, saying, hey, the comps are gonna be lower. <laughs> There's no doubt, man, we, like, I, the market should have known that, but guess what, you know, this market, uh, you know, this market went to, it never can go down, and we won't hit a bottom until people think it never can go back up, folks. That's how this works, okay? This is only the beginning of this deal. That's, that's my take on this. Um, and here, let me show you why, at first, before I go to Home Depot. It has to do with the trend. People are not paranoid right now. See this trend right now? This trend is running at 1.06. When you run at one, that means that as we are going lower, all of us are buying all the equities. Everyone thinks that it's still a great deal out here. That's what that's saying. Now that's one side of it, okay? The tick does get people nervous and we've had some big down draft ticks, there's no doubt. And today we got another one, 1728, I think. Let me see. Yeah, 1747. We get 1747 hit at, uh, well, let me, let's see, is this, okay, I gotta do this intraday. There we go. Okay, so we hit that. Yeah, there is 1737. We hit that at uh, 150 this afternoon. So what that is, that the way that the, the, the tick works, folks, that is a lot of day traders selling at exactly the same time, getting out of the marketplace. And let's just see what that is. This is going to be pretty, I, I suspect it's going to be close to the bottom because this is how it always works, man. So 150. If I go into the queues, we look at 150. Intraday, come on, baby, come on. Don't stop now. Whoops. Hmm. Okay, I need another screen. Now, let's use this screen. Let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if my... Okay, so Oops. sorry about this folks. Okay, what's happening is that either my Bloomberg's slowing down or let me see what happens here. Because if the Bloomberg's slowing down, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see a lot of selling. It is. <clears throat> so check this out, folks. This is what's really wild. When um the Bloomberg slows down, and you can see what happened. On the NASDAQ, they just went down 20, 30 points. Uh, what I've found is this. I, I have like three different setups, meaning I don't use the Bloomberg for trading. I have two other setups for that. But when, what I do know is that when the Bloomberg slows down, like I just did, that is setting up for more orders that are going inside this market, which is pretty wild. Uh, let's go to uh, Rich in Oregon first. Hey, Rich, what's going on, brother? Well, Tom, uh we haven't heard much of anything about wheat. The Tecrium Fund is what I've been watching, and I noticed it, of course, took a, a bump up today, probably because everybody's afraid that the Ukraine won't be shipping anything. What do you see for uh, short-term trade in wheat? So today, let me see what the limit is. You went up 44. So the limit, yeah, you went up limit. So today, um, the futures went up limit. 854 was the limit, and it went to 854. You're trading 848 right now. Um, that's going to go higher. <clears throat> you know what is what is the symbol for the T cream fund? Uh, w E A T. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. So let's look this up because I remember. I mean, a long time ago, these guys were um, advertisers. Okay, so let's see. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay, so the investment objective of the fund is to have a daily changes percentage terms shares and net asset value reflect the daily changes in percentage terms of weighted average of the closing settle prices of three future contracts. Okay, so three. Okay, so this is based on three contracts. Um, the low in this rate is 576. The high is 831. You're trading 812.
Okay, so you it went over the consolidation. So you can take the top of the consolidation, which is 780. The bottom is 709. So you get 71 cents. That gives you 850. And the high is 831. So this wants to go to 850, man. That's how this is trading. Okay. Yeah. So let me, let me pull this back a little bit more and see what's there. But this is, this is an instrument to use for just short-term trading. Am yes. I right? Yes. Well, well, okay. hold it one second. I, I don't believe this is a leverage instrument. Um, no, it's not a no. leverage instrument. So, yeah, I mean, you, you're not. That's a great question. So, what happens here, folks, is that it's not when you're not a leveraged instrument, you uh, won't get chopped up when you get a sideways move. What happens with the pro shares or the direction shares or anything that is a two, three to one ratio? When the trend's with you, it's awesome, okay? When, the, when, the, when, it, when it's a consolidation, you get killed because it doesn't matter whether you're a bull side or a bear side. Yeah, no, I, I'd get my head wrapped around this, man, because it might be, end up being an ABC up because at 831, if it takes the B point out with volume, which would be 600 and, uh, I mean 6.6 .6 million shares, um, you get a small ABC up. So it would be, well, it could be a good one, actually, 485. Yeah, it's a decent one. It's about 375, which would get you to somewhere about the $11 level. So, yeah, I'd, I'd stay right there, man. Okay, I'm going to hang on then. I was getting ready to hit the sell button. No, stay right there, man. Okay. Okay. Have a great one, man. Right, Have a safe a one. Um, the, uh, the question here, anyone think Russia is cyber attacking our equity system? No. Um, no. They, they, what, the... the I'll tell you my take on it. My take on the deal, folks, is that this is a slow, meticulous deal. If you, I just, you know, if you read that article, you're going to see that he's going to take he's going to take Ukraine because the history is that Russia is Ukraine. I mean, that's the bottom line. It's not even close either. Okay, so when you read it, you'll see it. And and listen, I can't stand the guy and all of it, but it is what it is. And you know, I wouldn't let. A whole freaking arms build up next to me and, and my block either. I'd go blow them away in about two seconds. So, you know, we'll see where this shakes out, but that's what's happening out here. Dow Industrials down 376, NASDAQ's off 100, SP's off 28. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 392. You get the Nasdaq off 109. S&Ps are off 30. Let's go to our man Bill in Sarasota. Bill, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Uh, how you do today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing well, awesome. That's hey, a beautiful uh, thing. Got, got a stock one if you could look at for me. Uh, uh, I enjoy listening to your show, uh, and, I, and I value your opinion. Um, the stock is GOGL, Global Ocean Group. Absolutely. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Bill, let me ask you something. How did you find us and how long you've been listening? Oh, jeez. I've long time? been listening to you 15 years. Oh, so cool. No, because we we got a couple of good surprises coming up, folks. Okay? I was just curious, man. I appreciate it big time. So let's go take a look at this. It's Golden Ocean Group. The low is 590. The, the high is 1299. Now, do you own this? Or are you looking to buy it? Yeah, I own quite a bit of it. Uh, and uh, I'm interested to see what uh, what kind of projection you you see where it's you know, going to going to go to. Okay, so let's take a look. You got, you know, what's happening out here is you got an ABC structure up, and it's a beauty. Yeah. Let me put this on. Okay, so twelve twelve fifteen. It's about four and a half bucks. Gets you fifteen bucks. Okay, so let's see what's over here. Okay, so you took out the swing. You took that out with volume, too. Okay. Interesting. So, I see what's happening. Okay, good. Okay, so you get an EBC up that's approximately 15 bucks, Bill, okay? Uh -huh. But I want to show you okay. something right now. Because I'm, I'm, this is so funny that, see, what happens, I bring a lot of goods in by container, okay? So. Okay. I look at this Baltic index a lot. And well, here, let me, yeah. let me go back to your equity first, because I want to show you what's going on here. Okay, so this equity here, folks, okay, it's Golden Ocean Group. Um, it operates international dry bulk shipping company based in Bermuda. The company mainly operates capsize, Panex market segments. Okay, so now let me show you what this is, folks, Pete. And you see this, this is pretty cool, man. Because this index bill topped out in October, okay? So what yes. that means mm -hmm. specifically, I'm gonna put this up now, you, you're gonna see, first I'm gonna put it on a three-year chart, okay? And you're gonna mm -hmm. see um, October 6th, that was the highest shipping rate out there for, well, yeah, let me show you this first. When you're looking at this Baltic index, do you see what it is? It's 40% cap size, 30% pan X. And your stock, GOGL, that's what they have, okay? Yes. So when we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that this index not only is topped out. I'm going to put it back in a tweet. But I just put this on a 20-year chart for you so you can see that, you know, this index had gone from uh, May of 2020 at 3, 393 all the way up mm -hmm. to 5,600, okay? We're back to 2,045, so what that means yeah. specifically for you is this, is that that company, let me go back to GOGL again, so you can see how this works. And you're gonna see that revenue-wise, they already know this themselves, because you see what's happening? Last year they took in 950 million, the year before they took in 413 million, but you see what happens next year, 834? It could yeah. get on a lot more than that. 
because what happens in the dry shipping business is when the rates collapse, which they have, it can mm -hmm. get down very fast. So the way I trade this, it, it, particularly you said you get a lot of it, um, yes. be really careful, man, because this is, this is ready to top out because the rates have topped out in October. So you could, it's not gonna go overnight, that's for sure. So what you could do, there's, there's plenty of um, volume in this that every day mm -hmm. you can turn around and say, okay, man, like right now I'm gonna put a stop under 11.95 and ride it all mm -hmm. the way, okay? But when that gets close to 15, I would get out of town. I just, call, I mean, you, you could pull up the Baltic Index yourself. Because that's how, yes. and it's, it's really cool, isn't it, man? How, how you, you turn around and get the real rates, you see what I'm saying? Because yes. uh -huh. you get the real rates, and what ends up happening, as that goes down, it goes down dramatically. And you can see how that went up dramatically. They, they did twice the amount of gross revenue in one year. Yes. And yes. guess what? So what? The other side of that, that can get cut in half in one year. What's really interesting is, you know, the whole sector is going up. If you take a look at the SB, LK, and uh, DAC, yeah, same thing. They're, they're all topped up. And all, it's, it's high week high. well, you get the gist of it. My my take is that it, what's get, what's going to be interesting about this too, folks. Okay, <laughs> is that the aspect. Now, that doesn't bring down, this is what ends up happening. What we're talking about is this. That doesn't bring down the shipping rates for all of the containers yet. But what specifically Bill and I are talking about, that absolutely brings down the cost of the ships pushing dry material. So as soon as that mm -hmm. happens, what ends up happening, the next thing that happens after that is that the container cost goes down dramatically. That's, that's just, I've been doing this long enough not even in, in chart-wise. I'm talking about real dollars dealing with these container ship companies, okay? That's how it works, you know? Yes. So, yes. you know, you got a great trade, man. Um, and just as the closer you get to that, what will probably happen is this. The closer you get to it, you're going to see the volume mm -hmm. start contracting. And then just, you know, basically unload it, um, take your wife and go to Bermuda and have a fucking and have a blast. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the bottom line. That's a, that sounds like a plan. Exactly, man. Remember why you're in the business to make money. Take it off the table and go have a good time, man. It's a great trade, yes. man. Yes. Cooking, brother. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Bill. Have Appreciate a great it. one, man. Have a safe one. Uh, market wise, out here, uh, folks. Uh, bottom line, you can see the market's not holding, man. This is going to build cause. This is going to be dangerous. This is going to get dangerous, man. This is kind of uh, wild. Yep. It's going to build cars. You're going to go sideways. You're going to build cars. And you better start getting ready for an ABC down, folks. You know, because if we don't hear, time-wise, this is how this shakes out. If you can't get a good bounce going before the, by, by Wednesday, no, Thursday, because this is the end of the month, beginning of the month. If you can't get a good bounce going by that, if we just go sideways, get ready for an ABC structure down. And then, and it's not the end of the world, remember that. But what you want to do is that you do the numbers for the ABC down, then you do the list of the stocks that you really like, because at the bottom of that ABC down, folks, okay, I don't care where you are, people are going to want to hear nothing about stocks. That's, that's the environment that we're in right now. And you can see that we're not even close to that, because only three months ago, it would seem that it excuse me, that everything can only go up. That's over. That's over. That's done. And, you know, when we talk about when I was talking with Basil, those Adobe and um, Salesforce, they're still trading at a 43 PE. That's a monster PE still. They're only, they're growing by 25%. So that's still, say 20, that's still saying they're paying 15. Well, when you have corrections, folks, we're going to come down to a 12. That's the reality. Dow Industrial's down 555. NASDAQ's off 185. S&P's off 52, stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. 
You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up 572, NASDAQ's up 203, S&P's up 55. Let's go to ExxonMobil. We had a couple questions about oil, oil stocks. What you have to um, wrap your head around here a bit, folks, um, get stops in big time uh and well, the first question is that do you think by next week uh can exxon be at that 80 level and was at 83 the last high um when you get a downdraft like this and i know plenty of you <laughs> gold traders all us gold traders and silver traders we we know specifically when you get a downdraft going everything's going to go and so that's my take on this that everything's going to go so be very careful just because oil wants to go to $100 is not going to matter um, on the rest of these equities. The reason being is that, so picture, this is the perfect wave, whatever you call it, on the way down. You have, you have interest rates going up. You have, you know, war basically happening in Europe by that, okay? And, and check this out. This is what's really crazy. Hey, Mark, what's happening, brother? <laughs> I love it. Um, is that... The, when you actually look at it, so picture this, I was born in 1950, and I love history in general, folks, okay? And it always blows my mind. My father was in the Philippines, right? And when I look at it, it's like, wow, man, he was in the Philippines, you know, in the middle of that war. He comes back, has me, like, he was probably only back three years, has me in 1950. So, you know, then, yeah, you had Korea, you had Vietnam, you had the Iraq. This is a real problem, man. This is a, and if you really wrap your head around it, um, wars in Europe are a whole different ballgame. 
And what I've, what I've always thought, I can tell you, and I'm sorry if you're, you know, over there, most of the time, they don't think, take things as serious as they should, the Europeans. That's, that's the real bottom line. And if you're not going to go in for the kill, man, someone's going to kill you. It's, and I don't mean to be so crude, folks, okay, but that's, you know, just watch any animal movies. Watch, watch some doc, documentaries. That, that's, that's who we are, which is, which is sad, okay? Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock. Great show. Yeah! Look at him, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most.